Hi, I'm Shelly, a receptionist here at Grady Veterinary Hospital, and I have my dog Ash is with me here today, and we're going to discuss travel safety with your pets. Uh, the first thing I want to mention is that if you have a pet that's anxious about traveling, you want to get with your veterinarian to discuss some pos possible options to alleviate the stress for your pet um, so that it'll be a good experience for them. And the next thing I want to discuss are some things you do not want to do while traveling with your pet. Uh, the first thing is that you never want to allow your pet to sit in the front seat of the car or allow them to sit on your lap while you're driving. And this is just because if you're involved in an accident, the pet could be sent into the windshield or the airbags could deploy and it would cause the pet to get injured and that's certainly something you don't want to have. Next, I know we've all seen the pets traveling down the street with their heads hanging out the windows and as cute as that is, it's just not a good idea because road debris could fly and get into your pet's eye, cause an injury in that way. Next, you never want to allow your pet to ride in the back of a truck bed, and this is because if something gets their attention, they could jump out, and it's just not a secure place for them to be when they're riding in the back like that, so just another risk you don't want to take. So those are some of the things you do not want to do while traveling with your pet, and now I'm going to discuss some things that you do want to so do. So crates are a great way to travel with your pet. And um, some pets just aren't used to traveling in crates, so a, a good thing to do ahead of time is get them used to the crate by leaving the crate sitting out and just having them go in and outside of the crate before traveling with them so they're not as anxious for when it's time for them to actually travel. So once you get the crate inside the vehicle, you want to be sure to safety belt it in so that it's secure and that's another great way to travel with your pet. However, that's not always an option depending on the size of your car or your pet. So another option is seatbelt. Another great thing is to have your pet travel with a seatbelt. And my dog Ashes here has on a harness and it has an attachment to it that you simply take the seatbelt and put it through the attachment and clamp it into the seatbelt and that makes her nice and secure in there. It's connected to the harness, so that keeps her safe. Another option is if you drive a van or an SUV, you can get a barrier that fits between the passenger and the cargo area. So that's a great way for them to travel in the cargo area while the driver of the car is not distracted. So those are some of the things that uh, are do's and don'ts of pet travel, travel safety. And another thing I wanted to mention is that since a lot of traveling is done in the summertime months, it's just not a good idea to, once you get to your destination, you don't want to leave your pets inside the car, even with the windows rolled down for a short period of time, because on a hot day, the temperatures can reach above 120 degrees inside of a car, and that could cause cause heat stroke for your pet or it could even be fatal. Those are some do's and don'ts of travel pet safety and we just want to wish you and your best friend safe travels.